uh oh my husband just told me that I have one hour and 30 minutes to go from this to date night ready um, 911, what's your emergency? Hi, uh, um, I need to report a crime. A crime of fashion. Anyway, where do I start? Shower. Let's shower. Shower time. I do not have time to mess with my hair, so I'm just throwing it up. This is gonna be a quick but luxurious shower. I've been using the Dove Bar to wash my face. I don't know how I feel. It lathers up really nice. My skin's okay. I don't know. I can't decide. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so getting the skin all clean and I'm just going to rinse that off. I've been loving this Billy razor. I'm just going to shave my armpits today because I shave them every day. So it's kind of habit. Then I'm going to brush and floss. These Listerine flossers are elite. You need them. They make flossing so easy. This is my favorite toothpaste. You know I'm going to be trying to make out with my mans tonight, so we need fresh breath. I've been using a Baja Aha from Soap and Glory. I didn't know they did skincare, and they super do, so I'm testing out a few products. I have to let that Baja Aha sit for about two minutes, so I pumice my face, my, my feet, and then wash my face. This is the best body wash ever. It smells so good. All clean. <laughs> We're showered. We're feeling great. Look how cute this robe is. I got it from like a yard sale. It's Victoria's Secret. So cute. I just put on lotion all over my entire body. It was, I'll pop a picture here because I did it in my bathroom. It was the Bra Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Just because if you want to be like sexy. The only thing is I was like, <laughs> this is like um, a fall. This is our first fall date. So why am I using summer scents, but it's boom boom cream. It's all the time, all the time scent. I usually do my skincare in my bathroom, but I'm gonna run you through it. This is my toner. This is not the toner. I, it was a spray, so I like dumped this toner out, and then <laughs> I put my good toner in, and now it's just like jet. It's a jet stream. You probably can't even see it. It's a jet stream. I'll pop the real one here. It's so good. I love it. It is a hyaluronic acid um, rice. I haven't tried the SK2, but I feel like it's pretty much about the same thing. I'm gonna throw on this little hyaluronic acid serum. Wow, that toner is still wet because when you have hyaluronic acid, you want water when you're putting it on so just two little droplets throw that on the face guys I feel like I never get date nights anymore it's crazy let me tell you a thing or two mm, sticky wonderful I'm testing I'm testing out a moisturizer right now I don't know if I like it so it is a dimethicone based so silicone based moisturizer that's why I don't know if I like it. I'm very confused about it. Um, so I'm literally using um, this Glow Oasis eye cream. I'm just gonna take like a larger amount and put it all over my face as moisturizer because <laughs> the, I'm a little scientist and the primer I have is water-based and this moisturizer is water-based and I really want my um, makeup to not pill up psychotically so I'm just literally using an eye cream all over my face it's not gonna hurt me it's probably better but it's more expensive and that's you know but I got her in the fab fit fun and she still doesn't smell like anything review coming super soon on this bad boy I'm gonna throw on the primer too just so it can really set up I'm gonna use the elf power grip primer Review is linked. Watch it later. It's in the description if I remember. I'm really bad at that. <laughs> Sorry. You can watch a bunch of other reviews too. I'm a review channel now. Okay, so we're throwing on the Power Grip Primer. How many times have I said Power Grip Primer? Too many. Take shots. I feel like I should take a shot right now. My skin's like, um, let's get into hair. I just threw her up in a bun in my shower because I know I was gonna do an updo 
and I was like, I'm not going to waste my time with that. I only have an hour and a half to get ready. Okay. Here is my little tricky trick. Ready? I'm going to use my hair growth oil. I just got this at Sally's. It's bio seven. It has an interesting smell, but I will say, um, hair, hair do be growing. I have another hair oil that I was trying adjacently though. So like, I really need to like not do that. But, and I also am postpartum. So I'm <laughs> like, what is the hair oil? What is just my hormones not attacking me? Um, what is like the other oil? I don't know. So, so there's that. I can't give like a, this is the result before, but my hair is pretty long for me. It's pretty healthy for me bleaching and box dyeing and bleaching and box dyeing the crap out of it. And then I'm just gonna take it all down because I figure I'm gonna be putting my hair up in a little bun. I'm gonna give it the like oil while I'm doing it and like work, do a two in one, <laughs> my hair's falling out. Do a little two in one action with the hair oil working away and my hair growing away. I could use gel, but I feel like the oil really for like my texture, which is essentially um, nothing noodle. I have noodle hair. It is flat, straight, super thin no volume noodle hair okay so for that texture <laughs> what i was saying i feel like the oil does a great job of keeping it back and nice and out of the way with a little bit of hairspray and i'm using one of, i'm not going to show you a close-up it's one of these like billion bristle brushes it's so covered in my hair um to make it really nice and I'm obsessed with this hairstyle right now because it is so easy. It looks so good and um, I feel like I'm not damaging my hair. I haven't curled my hair in so long. I'm not damaging my hair as I like literally pull my scalp apart. Okay, then I'm going to take the ponytail. Let me tell you what, let me tell you what, it's, it's, it's quite a disaster in here. Okay. One bobby pin. Hairdressers are shook across the land. We're going to do some foundation. Taking the e.l.f. halo, I think I just saw a little sniff that they came out with something new they announced it on the Instagram very cryptically <laughs> like uh, it's too dark and too yellow for my skin tone and then it's a light coming soon or coming tomorrow so I'll have to check in on that because this is a little dark and yellow for me because I am white got a couple uh, globs of that and I'm gonna throw on my Maybelline 30 hour Holy grail! I have the color 112 Natural Ivory. I'm just gonna do like, she's clogged, my babies. Ew. She's thick. Get a couple squirts of that on there. And then I'm gonna take the back of a brush. Just mixy, mixy poo those together. Mixy mix. Just going straight in. Everything is dry on the face. I don't know why people don't do this. Like, we just put it on something else. Like, just get in there. We got, we got things to do. You know what I mean? Get it in there. I've heard absolutely nothing but screams since you got here. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Are you
Are you cleaning my basement? Stop! <laughs> ah! Fuck. That was a bad idea. Don't do that. Um, the way she's like, where are you going? Because I'm putting makeup on. Okay, I'm gonna finish recording. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Mommy. Yeah. Where are you going? Daddy's taking me out on a date. Right now? Uh. You gotta hang out with Brooke, so who's the real winner? Bye. I already put the powder in the cap, but this is the Cody Airspun powder. I'm just going to use my damp beauty blender and start applying, iron out those creases. Guys, this is a controversial take. I, 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 I literally don't use concealer anymore. Like, um, if I find a good one again, maybe fight me. I think it's a lot smoother. I have dark circles that peek through my concealer no matter what, unless I'm using like some heavy duty concealer, but like who's using that every day? Still, still obsessed with the All Star Palette. Butter Bronzer and me, we're BFFs, bro. We are BFFs, bro. So I do like a big swirl of the Butter Bronzer and then two taps <laughs> into the matte butter bronzer and then i really just build it onto my cheekbones my cheeky cheeks okay and then i'm gonna do one two buckle my shoe blend down the neck okay and then we're gonna go one two under the nose up one side up one side Leave it alone. One, two. Hairline. Doing this literally, like, per, it's the whole picture. You are not contouring and putting blush and then leaving everything alone. When you finish and do the whole entire perimeter, you're literally just making like one big piece of art flow. Little brush, only butter bronzer, not the matte. Up the side. Up the side. Okay. Grab my floral blush bloom creations, beauty creations. We're gonna go into like this lighter and this peach and then one dab of the pink. Just dot that on before really blending it out. Every time I do blush, I think about this one girl at MAC, like the first purchase I ever made at MAC was a blush, which is so weird for me for the time. Very weird to just want blush. For me um anyway i wanted a blush so i went to mac and this girl i swear she applied the blush on my face for like like right here she didn't go up anywhere she just did like this for a good at least three minutes which like when you're just sitting there waiting for someone to apply blush it was a long time she did one side and then like i was like yeah it looks great like it's a blush and so I left with like one side of my face blushed. Every time I do blush, I think about it. Core memory, <laughs> core memory. See how I did that perimeter again? Do your perimeter. Think if I had like 5% of this on my face and um, now you're me, I'm a client and I'm flipping out on me, the makeup artist, Brianna because I look crazy. And I was like, well, you um, have foundation on your lips. You don't have any eyelashes because they're not done and you have no eyebrows, so you will look crazy right now. And she grabbed a makeup wipe and rubbed it all off and kicked me out. While screaming at everyone. 
in the house on her wedding day. And then she left me a really mean review and said her 12 year old could do it better. And I was like, well, I was halfway through makeup. Yeah, it would look like trash because you didn't let me finish. Okay, this base is looking great. I have a secret. <laughs> this is my favorite highlighter of all time. It's from the Jawbreaker palette. It is the shade Snack. Something about this shade as a highlighter keeps me coming back for more and more and more and more. I can't get enough. And it's about to be gone and I will never get this palette back and I'm very sad. So I guess I'm going highlighter shopping. Okay, and then I just do like a tiny bit down the center of my nose because now I'm going to take my e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick. I did a review on this. I don't know if I posted it yet. It's in Perfect Pearl. It's this little crayon thing. And I just draw a little exclamation point. Beep, beep. Something on there. Go. Down my nose. And it is perfectly contoured. Every time. Beautiful. I really don't have a lot of um, eyebrow product at the moment. And that includes eyebrow gel. So, we're living on a prayer. All right, I'm using City Colors. It's just like a non-branded name brand. I sold it at my store and I have a million left over. So, I'm just using them up. It's actually so good. Like, it's Anastasia level. Definitely better than NYX. I find NYX very dry. And the stick like broke so much and it was so annoying. Um, but I do need to try a lot more Benefit. Cause I know those products be banging. I used to have the best Lush Girl from Benefit, and I don't know what happened to her, but I moved. But, oh my god, she was so amazing. Life-changing brows. She was, like, in the Utah location. Ugh! Changed my life. Now I feel like I need to find a benefit bar here. If you're in Missouri and know of anyone, or if you do eyebrows in Missouri, please call me. I need you. My eyebrows are a disaster. And they're microbladed, which does not help anything. I like that. I think I'm gonna pull this. Bam. These Profusion palettes, bro. Don't mind that I've dug out a couple shades. Um, these are fantastic. I have my Nala palette from a more us amazing palette. So I'm just gonna use like probably the black shade, maybe a dark brown shade in there, but I'm gonna use these two palettes and create a look. This camel shade, I'm gonna build it up, tap her off, and then in the corner, if you look down, you want right above where your, your natural crease is. So like, map it out above. Cause when you open your eyes, you want people to be able to see this color. Okay, we're gonna map it out on the other side. Okay, and then we're gonna really go in. So you're gonna grab it and you're just gonna go down to like your, where your iris is. Down in that shape. And then up where you've made that little line. That is gonna be 
your shape baby so just kind of darken it i do little 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 at a time because you can always add you cannot take it off as easily you can take it off it just is a big freaking pain in the butt to do I'm doing little swirlies to build up that color and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of black and just put it right on the corner right here kind of leading up a little bit definitely following that crease that we already made cool and then I'm just gonna add a touch of the black under all right, now I'm gonna wipe as much product off of the first brush that I use as I can and then really work this in to a beautiful blend. Really, really buff it out. And now I'm avoiding like this area and I'm really putting it like only on the crease where we've made and on the other line that we've made. So now it's all blended out, as opposed to this. This is un, let me, this is unblended. This is like pretty buffed and blended out. I'm gonna just keep wiping this off um, and trying to keep the brush as clean as possible. Your pretty face. Go away. Okay. Wait, what are you calling me? I was trying to have you be part of the video and answer some questions, but you ignored me. I did not ignore you. I did not hear you. It's two different things. All right, I'm gonna take Likeable. It's this taupey shade. Dad, just stop hating me. Baby, the the mirror is not recording <laughs> anything. <laughs> The camera's up there. Dad, stop hitting me. Dad, I love her. <laughs> Dad, I love her. You better still love you. I'm just if going I see slightly. YouTube, I don't see that video. <laughs> mean that thing. I won't watch it in the morning. <laughs> I'm going slightly above where I've used that camel color and just blending everything into filth blinding it into filth the baby and then i'm going to take that again bottom blend it out this is like such a classic um makeup look if you are like trying to impress anyone if you're trying to like look super great literally just do this it looks so good timeless classic amazing i love it to elevate i yeah i'm just gonna go into wow right here and put it on my finger and press it into the corner and pull it up like so like that Pull it like this and then I'll show you one thing in a sec I usually use yeah the edge the like same hand same eye so like right eye right hand left eye left hand when I'm doing this it's something about the angle it just like always looks better and it's easy to apply easier to apply and then I'm gonna throw on some I need like a deeper yeah let's go into charm right here it's like a golden coppery color right here on this line yes Ooh, pretty breaking my rule and it looks like crap grab your brush and just blend those colors 
I'm using like the lightest pressure. Okay, then I'm gonna just do a little bit more this really bright for the inner corner. Just like up a little bit to brighten up the inner corner. Oh, this shade is so pretty. I love a stark bright inner corner moment. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, then I'm gonna throw the the same thing right on my brow bone with the most like surgical precision. Do not F it up. Just like that. It looks so good, you guys. It looks so good. Where the heck? See, this is the children. The children do this to me, guys. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I found some. Oh, my battery is dying. Okay. We're just gonna. Mm, get her nice and incorporated. Adding the setting spray really just like melts everything together. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of eyeliner. We're gonna base these because these have thick bands. Um, thick bands. They are not like Ardell Demi Wispies with a clear band. These have those thick ones. So I'm gonna base that with eyeliner. I do a wing. I'm gonna do a wing. I'm just gonna throw a little quick wing on. Perfect. Let's throw a gloss on to our lips real quick. This is like not a normal gloss. This is like a moisturizing gloss um, to get moisture into the lips before we do the final. Is this gonna burn my eyelashes off? Probably. But in all reality, um, I've been taking my lashes off at the end of the night, and I'm like, um, is that like a chemical burn from my eyelash glue? I won't tell you what eyelash glue has been causing it. But is it my fault because it's expired? I don't know. Am I going to get another one and test it out? Yes. I'll keep you updated. Throw the lash on. Lash stick it to the center push on both sides people are screaming down there by people I mean Stella okay other side They are screaming bloody murder, but what you probably can't hear is they're laughing after, so I do not know what's going on. Time for lips. I'm going to use the LA Girl Lip Liner. This is in Chestnut. I'm going to just give a nice little contour. Oh my gosh, this deodorant burns, guys. Oh my gosh, why is it still burning? I want lip filler so bad, but so many people are getting it dissolved right now, so I'm like, shit. Shit, you know? I don't know. Anyway. Um, final step for makeup. I'm throwing on my L'Oreal Paris. Guys, you can't beat the classics. This is L'Oreal Paris in fairest nude. L'Oreal Paris in fairest nude. And, huh, no? Are you uh, anxious? Tell me so nothing is more like J low luxury than this look. 
this makeup combo, this lipstick combo, words are hard. Oh, like luscious, classy, beautiful. I'm gonna throw these in my purse for the go-go. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Okay, let's really, really round out the look, okay? I'm gonna throw on the hair. There she is. Uh, should I do this before I get dressed? Probably not. So, we already have our supporting bun. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it up. It has a little, like, um, comb. And then there's a comb on the bottom, but there's also a pole, so it's like, um, so I pull it up and then stick that bad boy right up in there. Only thing is, like, right here, you can literally see the net so hard. <laughs> so, I grab a tuft from behind, like a big old piece of hair. You kind of have to like fight with it to find the right one, not gonna lie. Let's do this. Let's do that, okay. And then really pull it over. Try to do it at least twice. We just fluff fluff her up. I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of hairspray to like kind of keep her there, you know. Keep her there. Alright, and there you have it. The glow up is absolutely real, stunningly real, immaculately real. Got a little baby here. Are you kidding me? Who is she? Who is she? A wife? A mother of four? I don't know. Okay, the best part about any getting ready is the outfit and perfume. So, guys, cashmere. This is literally from winter. I am almost done with it and I'm so glad it's winter again. Cashmere has the biggest grip hold on me. I'm I'm obsessed. It smells so good. Ugh. I don't know any fine fragrances that have cashmere smells like this yet, so I'm just dousing myself in Bath & Body Works spray. Okay, what am I gonna wear? Fuck. I don't know. Okay, let's, um, let's go figure out what we're gonna wear. All right, she's ready. She is fully ready. Got some jewelry, got a necklace. Probably need like a deeper plunge necklace, TBH. Um, I'm gonna get my bag together. I am wearing this empty. <laughs> Beautiful Michael Kors bag. The hubby bought it for me. And I'm gonna go put on my shoes and get going. I'm gonna switch to iPhone, so if you notice a little different, that's that's why. So switching to the iPhone. My baby is so damn dramatic. Sometimes I don't know where to go. Oh, he's my sunshine and my headache. But I keep coming back for more. Make sure to reciprocate, make it happen. What's 
is he trying to say? What is he trying to say? That you guys from Missouri have just cow ears. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just coming. <laughs> I'm a cowgirl, baby. The sunlight is really good. Got me so high, just watching the time flies, make love to one.